What up YouTube? How are we feeling today? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing fantastic. Back with another Division 2 video and back with another TU-16 build. And this is my Picaro's Armor Regen build and this freaking slaps. As you saw in the intro and you will see in a few gameplay clips that I'm gonna show you and a few clips while I explain why I use a particular set of gear this can get up to that 120k armory generation or close to that 120k armory generation a second while you can still shred through enemies the enemies have a hard time taking you down you get that armory generation back real quick and this has an armor of 1.5 million while still doing a decent amount of damage. You can use this build on every single content that you like. Legendary might be a little bit difficult as I feel that legendary hits a lot harder and you need a straight up tank build to survive. You can play up to heroic. You can go into heroic countdowns or normal countdowns with challenging. You can do whatever with this build and it is a lot of fun. This is running and gunning straight through. We are not using the Lady Death. Yes, you can use the Lady Death with it, but we're using a different gun, boosting up our damage even more when we take somebody out. High RPMs, high damage output, and a high survivability. This is a great synergy between all of them, and I have to say it is a lot of fun. Like usual, we are testing these builds out on Twitch slash I am Pure Prime. I'm live five times a week from Tuesday to Saturday. So if you want to chime in on every build that we're making or if you want me to test out a build and test it out with the community, what the best synergy will be for a build, hit us up in chat and we can definitely, definitely work together. But man, this is a great, great synergy, like I said. You can just run and gun, go fast through everything. And as you can see in the background, if you get hit and if you get foamed, the enemies will try to take you out, but that arm regeneration kicks in. In combination, of course, with the Memento backpack, as you can see, we're running around, picking up all those trophies. And if you pick up those trophies, and get the good timing with a trophy while wow, enemies spawn in front of you it is pretty easy and you can almost one clip every single enemy but enough intro let's dive right into the build starting with my specialization as usually we are using the minigun the gunner specialization and why are we using this because we're using the banshee pulse that is only available when you use the gunner specialization we're using that 10 percent armor on kill gives you a lot more survivability as well and that third reload is 50 percent faster and that comes in clutch as well make sure to stack into the weapons that you're using on the build so we are using an smg so stack into smg damage and my secondary gun is a rifle so make sure to stack into rifle damage as well and the third one you can do whatever you like so this is why we're using the minigun aka the gunner specialization but let's jump over to the rest of the build for my main gun i'm using the dark winner yes guys this dark winner is such such a great gun and it starts at 87.7k with an rpm of 1200 and a mag of 45 why do I say it starts at 87.7k? Because if everything procs and if everything is working on this build, you can hit up to that 100 to 110k on the total damage. And that's why we can just shred through enemies. I have the core attributes on there as SMG damage and critical hit chance. And I chose to go for damage to target out of cover. As that is, in my opinion, the best attribute to go for. And why are we using the Dark Winner? Because this comes with the perfect killer. Killing an enemy with a critical hit grants you 50% critical hit damage for 10 seconds. While you're running and gunning and always close, it doesn't really matter if you want to go alone, solo, or if you want to go in a group, for example, within Countdown, or just in a group running and gunning throughout the missions, or the open world, you will have that last bullet. You are close to the enemies, so it will 
take out that enemy and you will get that perfect killer kicking in granting you another 50 percent critical hit damage and that's why we can just shred through a lot of different types of enemies and the secondary is a classic m1a like i said at the beginning stack into my rifle damage and my smg damage and why are we using the classic m1a because this classic m1a helps out a lot when you need to take out elevated enemies there are a lot of missions out there that will have elevated enemies and then a classic m1a or a rifle is a very very nice addition to this build you can still hit up to that 1.5 to 2 millions a crit shot and that's why we're using the classic m1a the core attributes are always rifle damage and critical hit damage i maxed them out and again i went for damage to target out of cover as an attribute on there i chose for rifleman as a talent landing headshots adds a stack bonus of 10 percent weapon damage for five seconds max stacks is five an additional headshot refreshes the duration this is just one of the best talents to go for a rifle and in my opinion the classic m1a is still the meta rifle to use the best rifle in the game i chose for critical hit chance twice and an extra five rounds and for the dark winner i chose to go for two percent critical hit chances one percent critical hit damage and one extra 20% rounds minus the 10% reload speed for my handgun I'm using the TDI card but you can go for whatever handgun you like I would go for a handgun that you do not have proficient yet so for example go for the busy little bee if you are already unlocked it so you do not have to farm for an extra busy little bee you do not have to play with that busy little you don't don't have to kill with that busy little bee or of course donate your materials this is just an easy and cheap way to get everything proficient so choose whatever gun you like but let's jump over to the build overview shall we and this is the build overview guys we are rocking full crits and full arm regeneration and this does so much for you like i said in the beginning you can gain up to that 120k arm regeneration a second or almost 120k arm regeneration a second when everything procs so let's start with my mask i'm using a golden gear why are we using the golden gear we're using two pieces of golden because the second piece activates that one percent extra arm regeneration and the first one is status effects i found this with critical hit damage and arm regeneration already on there so that give me the opportunity to roll that weapon damage over that normal armor core max out critical hit damage max out arm regeneration and i went for a six percent critical hit chance because we still want to go towards that 50 to 55 percent critical hit chance before we are going to stack into critical hit damage or headshot damage whatever you like to go with but for me i went for critical hit damage then for my second piece of golan i went for the gloves again i went for critical hit damage and arm regeneration both maxed out and this has the maxed out armor core of 170k and this is my second golan like i explained this gives us an extra one percent arm regeneration and then for my knee pads i chose to go for the empress guards the named murakami knee pads because this already comes with an attribute of one percent arm regeneration i found it with arm regeneration already on there so i optimized that and i went for weapon damage instead of that skill core that's normally on there and don't forget guys if murakami is in the dz's or the knee pads are in the dz's definitely go into the dz's like i talked about last week there is a little buck going on in the dz's and you can get every single thing that is targeted loot out the dz's without extracting it so if murakami is in the dz's or knee pads in the dz's jump into the dz's farm for your targeted loot get that empress guards out there for free it doesn't really matter if the pvp guys take you out because it goes directly into your inventory it cannot be stolen and you do not have to extract it definitely dive into the dz's before tu 16.2 hits because then they're gonna fix it and then for my third attribute to gain another one percent extra arm regeneration is bellstone i had optimized the armor to 170k and again i went for arm regeneration and crit chance on there and a crit damage mod 
Like I explained, I want to push myself to that 50 to 55% critical hit chance before going into critical hit damage. I went for Obliterate as a talent. Critical hits increase the total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds and stacks up to that 25 times, gaining an extra 25% weapon damage. So if this whole build is maxed out, you can gain up to that 55% extra weapon damage output and this does a lot for your build. Because we're running around with 1.5 million armor, you still need to gain that extra weapon damage output and that's why I think Obliterate is a very, very nice talent to go for. You can also go for Spotter because the Vector, aka the Dark Winner, has a long underrail. So you can put that linked laser pointer on there and you can instantly get that 15% multiplicative damage. But for this build, I found my Bellstone Armory with Obliterate. And of course, I went for the Banshee Pulse that is only activated with our Gunner Specialization. And then to top off the survivability, the extra damage output and an extra skill core, we're running around with the Memento. This is hands down the best exotic backpack in the game. All not the best exotic in the game, in my opinion. This is so great for every single build. You can use it on a skill build, you can use it on an armor build, or you can use it on a straight DPS build. But for this, we're mainly using it for those extra core attributes. And of course, if everything is procced, you're gaining an extra 3% armor generation, 30% extra weapon damage, and of course that 30% extra skill efficiency. Skill efficiency is everything that the skill tree has to offer. You gain skill health, skill haste, everything that you can think of and I will put a list up on the screen right now whatever the skill tree has to offer that will give to you with skill efficiency and of course I chose for an extra critical hit damage mod on there we are going for the long term buffs as we all know from kill confirmed but the short term buffs helps you out quite a lot as well as we have four red cores and six blue cores Every time that you pick up a trophy, you will gain an extra 20% weapon damage and 60% bonus armor. Up on that 1.5 million almost gives you 800k extra bonus armor every time that you pick up a trophy. And this helps out boost your damage as well. And that extra skill efficiency because we're running around with one extra skill core helps out as well. Because normally the Benji Pulse will take around 28 seconds to come back. But whenever you're running around, your Memento is at max stacks. And you're picking up those trophy every time the seconds go faster. So you can get the Benji Pulse back in about 18 seconds or so. So 9 seconds faster than it usually is. And that's why this is such a great synergy between weapon damage output, survivability and still a little bit of skilled course. So if you time it right and pick up your trophies, you can just blast through everything that the game has to offer. Legendary can be a little bit more tough, but up to heroic you can just shred through almost every single enemy and one clip them. And then of course for our last piece, like this build is named, this is the Picaro's holster. This is the Picaro's regen build. I rolled armor as the armor core and I found it with armor generation and because this is the named Brazos the Arquebus holster, we are gaining an extra 15% weapon damage. So this gives you two cores, one weapon damage and one armor core. This helps out a lot with your damage output and your survivability. And I think this is just a great addition. Again, the Brazos, the Archibus first brand set bonus will give us 10% skill haste. What again helps out your Banshee balls, giving it back to you a little bit quicker. But yeah, guys, this is the full overview of the build. Again, we went for two pieces of Golan for that extra arm regeneration. We went for one piece of Bellstone for that extra arm regeneration. We went for one piece of Murakami, those named knee pads, gaining an extra arm regeneration. The Memento for an extra 3% arm regeneration, so we can gain up to that 6% arm regeneration 
almost up to that 120k a second. And then for an extra survivability and an extra damage output for that Picaro's holster. And then going over to my skills, the first one I'm using is my Reviver Hive, but you can go for whatever you like. You could even go for a Foam Launcher, trapping the enemies while, for example, your Banshee Pulse is on cooldown. This is another survivability and you can just trap them, stand right in front of them and shred through them with your Dark Winner. But I chose to go for the Revive Hive if you are in a group or if you are in a countdown. And a door opens up that you do not notice. You can still get taken out. 1.5 million armor is a high amount of armor. But still when a group all shoots at you. You can still get taken out. Then next to that of course we're using the Banshee Pulse like I explained. This has a cooldown of 25 seconds. But again because we're running around and picking up trophies. This goes a lot faster. You can lower this to that 17 even 16 seconds getting this back the duration is 14 seconds the effect duration is 5.3 seconds and has a radius of 36 meters and i chose to go for the mods that are on the gunner specialization 15 percent radius and 15 percent effect duration then for my revive hive i chose to go for 10 percent armor repair 5% range and 4.9% duration. So let's jump over to the stats and see what this gives us. And these are the base stats guys. As I showed you my normal weapon damage is 87.7k. But this is the base stats. I'm going to show you when the memento kicks in. Because this gives us a lot more damage output. We have 53% critical hit chance and 98% critical hit damage. But again guys, don't forget, we are running around with that perfect killer, gaining an extra 50% critical hit damage. So gaining up to that 148% critical hit damage. And that's why we can still shred through a lot of different enemies. Then going over to my armor, we have a close of 1.5 million armor. And this is why it gives us a 147k armor on kill. And the base is almost 70k armor generation. But again, when the memento kicks in, you will gain a lot more armor generation. And this can boost it up to that near to 120k per second. Close to that 120k, a little over 118k. And of course, if we go back to our normal weapon damage, you can see... It hits around that 100 to 110k. And this is only while the memento is procced. Because when our uh, chest kicks in as well. We can gain up a lot more weapon damage. Because we're gaining that extra 25% from obliterate. But yes guys that's pretty much it for today. Hit me up in the comments down below. How you're liking this build. What would you change around this build. And this Picaro's holster is a very very nice addition to the build. Hopefully they will change it in the near future that we can roll that weapon damage core on there. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribers button. And of course that notification bell. Pure Prime out.